Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is that Flame Assassin guy. And I'm starting out on a file select screen this time because, like... When you hit store to this point, it's just like, oh, you found a sale? Good. Okay, cool. It's, it's actually doing what I'm supposed to be doing. See? Oh. Oh, that look in your eye. So you found yourself a sail, have you? Oh well, I'll sh you, teach you the old of sailing. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, one more thing. When you are out at sea with few landmarks to go by, you'll be at the mercy of the sea chart map. I, I know what a map is. Uh, so, last time we were, like, chasing these kids around, but, eh. I think that's kind of important later, but uh, I'll just do it later. I've, I've stopped caring. I was really... Uh... Ah, uh, here's the map. Uh, what's really nice about the HD version is that uh, you don't actually... Okay, like, in the original, the sail was like his own item, but now it's not. You just press A. It's really, which is really nice. Although what's really weird about the Ishii version is that, like, this entire Great Sea is just all of it's loaded at once for some reason. Because, like, in the GameCube version, they can only load so much at once, but then they were just like, hey, let's load the entire ocean at once. Because, why not? Why wouldn't you want to load the entire ocean at once? Yeah, mighty fine boat you got there, Bub. You must be searching for treasure on the sea floor too, aren't you? <laughs> ho ho ho! You won't get anything from us, Bub. Not likely. Let me ask something real quick. Who wanders around on official sea? Only pirates. Only pirates, monsters, and treasure hunters like ourselves, and maybe some other things that I've never heard of. <laughs> All the weak island dwellers who. Have who never leave their shores, I'm amazed he's just a tiny little guy out here. I like your style, Bob. I feel like I've known you my entire life. So, hey, Bob, tell you what. As one treasure hunter to another, I'll give you this. You'll definitely be needing it if you want to haul up treasure. Come on, take it. I won't take no for an answer. I also won't take nay, nope, or no. Just grab it. Alright. Add to that tutorials. Also, this treasure short, like, we can't even use it yet. Guys, in order to, like, get stuff up, you need a. You need an item that we don't actually have yet, so. Uh, another thing about sailing is that that when you see an idol, an island, there's there'll be like a fish nearby, and if you feed it bait, it'll milk the island on your map, which is incredibly useful. Let's get on this island. Are those, gi are those giant choo-choo? 
You say sign. Oh boy. It's information I already knew. Ooh, and the mailbox. Also the mailbox in this the mailbox in this game talk for some reason. Um, what's that fish? I'm pretty sure it's around here somewhere. At least, probably. I don't know if this one always being weird. Like, sometimes I see it, sometimes I don't. I don't know. Although it's not like... This violin isn't overly important, so... We miss it, whatever. Outpost things and you just kill all the enemies and then you get stuff. It's neat. It's like killing things fun. I don't remember what I don't remember what this one gives you though. Oh, 20 movies, alright. Might as well loot the rest of this place. Wake every pot. They they're the true villains of this game. There's a beetle ship right here, so you can just buy more bait if you want to. Or if you just forgot about it. What what are you doing? Like, oh, okay. What are you doing with your head? Stop that. It doesn't look healthy. What? What's the matter? You just, your head just spazzed out. I'm very concerned for you. Please stop doing that. Bait. Also, these Howie pairs let you like control seagulls, but it's only useful for like one part of the game. So just not very useful at the moment. Boat can't go on there. I was hoping, I was wondering if you could just like, just attack him with the boat itself. Would have been pretty great. Uh, sailing can be kind of an, can be like kind of boring, but I don't know. I always kind of liked it, especially in the HD version where uh, you can get a faster sail later. Like seriously, Wii U version is the best version. Hey. Oh. 
on the horizon. Is our destination, Dragon Roost Island. High atop this island, in this island's peak lives the spirit of the skies, a, dr a great dragon by the name of Valu. Valu? Valu? I don't know. Let's go see the dragon request from him a jewel called Din's Pearl. Ask people of the Weedo tribe who inhabit this island to see about how to see the dragon. Oh, I almost forgot. Wait just a moment. This is the Wind Waker. Yeah, it's, it's the name of the game. It's a baton of sorts that was used long ago when the people played music and prayer to the gods. In those days, simple those in those days, simply using a loud one to wall the power of the gods. But I do not know if it still works. Even so, I thought I might be of some use to you. Perhaps you should be use perhaps you should try using it. Who is conducting three fourth time? Do not touch L. It, you will die. Don't touch hell. Actually, do touch hell this time. You won't die. Trust me. Yeah, the one way it was pretty much just like a baton. I can... Like one of those, like... Things they use in, like, orchestras to, like, tell them how to do stuff. But it... Is a... But it actually does magical things. In this game. Somehow. I don't have any songs right now, but this is the first one that's incredibly useful. It changes the wind, which is good for sailing. Although we can't leave the island right now until we finish the dungeon, but useful later. Yep, that's a mighty nice breeze. Aim Zephos, the king, the god of winds. So you're the new wind waker, are you? Great, great. For a beginner, you've got a nice wind sense about you. I like you, kid. That tune you just picked up, well, it gives you control over the wind. It gives you control over the direction the wind blows. Depending on how it's used, the wind can be a good thing or a very bad thing. Want an example of it being a bad thing? You need to go see my brother. It sounds to me to say that my brother is Cyclops. This myth about this monument being broken. And now he spends his time creating Cyclones to torment people with. So if you encounter any Cyclones to see, chastise my brother for me, will you? And that is my request for you. Now, we won't see his brother for like a pretty long time, but he's also useful. A hole of bombs. Yeah, they're just like bomb flowers. Flowers that are bombs. Boom. Uh, there's a chest up there, but we can't actually get it yet. I thought there was something over here, but it, there might not be, I don't know. Doesn't look like there is.
and you... Oh, okay. Okay, Link. That's cool. Just lost my free loopy. Thanks, dude. You... You are a wonderful person at making money. Three five rupees though. That's neat. And now we don't have to do that again. Potag, Potag, is that you? It is. I'm pleased to see you okay. It's the male dude from before. I must say, you've traveled far. You've traveled far for no, for one with no wings. Your sister is she? Nah, man. Is that so? Don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. Probably. She probably won't get eaten by a giant bird. But uh, maybe she will. I don't know. I have an idea, Protag. Would you like to meet our chieftain? Oh, chieftain, how you say that? I've told my people about. I've told my people. Bleh. I've told my people here about you, and all of the Weedo are very concerned. I'm certain the chieftain will. I'm certain the chieftain will befriend you and lend you the aid of a, of a airy. What does that even mean? It's settled, then. I'll fly on ahead and let everyone know you're coming. Come inside. I'll be waiting. Tell you not creepy or anything. Hey kid, come inside. All of you discovered the cause of the great value's anger. Ah, so you're a protag, are you? Quill has told me all about you. Troubling tale indeed. I insist that you let us know if there was anything in you to help you. Or should do everything in our power to assist you. In the meantime, we have a problem of our own to deal with. When you arrived the island, did you notice the, the raging dragon perched atop the mountain? I, I mean... Okay, one, that's pretty hard to miss, and two... I... I did miss that, actually. I mean... Like... Weirdly, you probably could miss that fact. I can see we of the Weedo... Of the Weedo tribe were profoundly connected to the sky. We make a living in the airways. We do so by the grace of the sky spirit, Valu. When a Weedo... When a Weedo reaches its old hood, he or she joins the top of Dragon Roots to receive a scale from the Great Dragon. It is this scale that enables the Weedo to grow that enables the Weedo to grow his or her wings. Recently, however, the one's gentle value has grown violent and unpredictable. Sadly, we can no longer approach him. If this if this continues, the fledglings who are of age will come to receive scales from Valu on Dragon Roots. They will remain wing they will remain wingless, and in time our very lay of wife Our very lay of wife. Yes. The laying of our wives will be threatened. <laughs> As chief of the Rudo, my first responsibility is to resolve this problem. My apologies, but I but I must ask you to wait for But I must ask you to wait for our assistance until this is done. Will we do so? I I, I guess. Chieftain, what will you do? What will you think of consulting Protag with the goals of your son, Prince Komali? As you can see, Protag is a gallant young lad. I feel certain that Prince Komali would open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. That may be. Quick play the song. Can't hold on much longer, I will never let go. Let me let me be direct. My son, Kamali, is of the age to earn his wings. Yet he is weak in some ways, and in light of the current situation, he must give up on ever getting them. 
What say you? Will you share some of your courage, my son? Will you meet my son? I, I, I guess. I thank you. We shall do our best to solve our problem as quickly as possible, so that you, we may better help you with others. With yours. I have something I wish to give you to my son. I have something I wish to give to my son. A young girl named Medley is holding it for me. Would you find her and take it? I'm counting on you. Here, take this with you. Who knows, it might come in handy. An empty mailbag. Thanks. You find Mendeley in one of the upper rooms. Leave the great value to us. In the meantime, do your best to aid Prince Kamali. Ah, so many cutscenes. Ah, uh, that leads to the to the entrance of the next place. I didn't want to talk to you. Leave me alone. I didn't want to talk to you. I didn't want to talk to you either. Wow, we really do have blue clothes with a picture of crawfish on them. Good, you have different dialogue. Oh me, I'm an attendant of the great sky. I'm a. I'm an attendant to the great sky spirit Valu. My name is Medley. Oh, tell the truth, I'm not quite an attendant yet. I'm actually still studying to be one. Oh, what am I thinking? Here, this is from the chieftain. Protag, you want to give this directly, to Prince Kamali? Ah yes, a single letter. The room way in the back of the, f the room in the, the room way in the back of the first floor is Prince Kamali's room. You have to go down a couple steps to get there. When you meet Prince Kamali, please go to. Don't get offended by his manner. Like he, he's kind of an asshole, but like don't tell him that. He has no bad intentions, I promise. By the way, uh, listen, I have a small favor I'd like to ask of you. Could you please come to the entrance of Dragon Roots Cabin later? I'll explain everything then. Ooh. She wants to hold hands. Alright, I'll just give this letter to him. Oh, how convenient. That's the thing we need. Hey, I'll trade you a letter for that orb. Letter for my father? Oh, sure. Telling me to be brave is easy enough for him. It's not like he's the one who went through that horrible, horrible experience. It's not like he still gets. To, it's not like he has still has to go get a scale from Valu. And this letter too, you know. Wow, that was a quickly written letter. Pokey knows in other people's business. You nosy, aren't you? So I don't feel like going to see Valu right now. I mean, how am I supposed to get a scale from him when he's so upset? What, you're trying to say you can calm Valu down? <sighs> yeah, that's just a big fat lie. It's easy to say you can do anything. Bragging doesn't cost a thing. Tell you what, if you can find me to... If you can find me... If you can find me someone who can get past all the obstacles in Dragon Roots to get to Valu, and then I'll listen to anything you have to say. Alright, listen, kid. I will do that, and then you're, and then I will convince you that the Earth is flat. How about that? Oh, that's always annoying, like, you're just rolling to move faster, and then he hit you head on the stairs. Oh, that's... It's a terrible problem facing our American society. Like, such a common thing, I'm... 
I'm wondering why I even bring it up. Oh, how's it going? I guess it's to be expected in this heat, but just look down there. Dragon Root's pond is completely dried up. This is the wrong entrance. Ah, uh, don't you just love when you hit your head against stuff because you're trying to move faster? Yo, Manly, what's up? Hey, you actually came. I'm really sorry for so I'm really sorry for bringing you to such a dangerous place. I had to. I wouldn't have asked if I didn't if I didn't need help desperately. See this place? There used to be a spring here, so I had my beautiful by a beautiful pond. It was peaceful and lovely. But then the great value, he became so angry and in his rage he in his rage he shook the mountain and this boulder came and this boulder crashed down, plugging the spring. You can see the result. Oh, where was my mind? Tell me, how was Prince Kamali? He uh he uh he told me to piss off. Oh, that doesn't sound right, not at all. I may be partially to blame for the bad turn that Prince Kamala has taken. See, Prince Kamala's grandmother was a great value former attendant. She was an amazing woman. I was honored to have her as my teacher. She was kind and brave, and unsurpassed in her, in her dealings with the great value. I am not worthy of being mentioned in the same breath, sir. If only I'd been, if only I'd possessed some of her strength, I'm sure Prince Kamala would have, would have felt more secure. I'm sorry to ask this, but I need your help. I wanted to go to the, I wanted to go to the small shrine that's near the peak of, that's near the peak of Dragon Roost. That ledge over there is so high. If I could get some some wind on, if I could get some wind under my wings, I'm sure I could get up there. So, will you help me? Eh, sure. Thank you so much. Okay, pick me up. All right, I'm ready. See, told you, hand holding. It's really messed up, but you know, I'm not gonna judge. Now I just have to wait for the wind to go the right way and fly. Good job. Oh, thank you. I'm sure now I'll be able to climb Dragon Rose and meet with a great value. Don't worry, I'll be fine, and totally not get thrown in jail or anything. I may just be an I may just be an apprentice an apprentice attendant, but I can understand some of the great value's language. I'm not exactly boasting with confidence, but look, if anything happens to me, please look after Prince Kamali. This is all I have to give you. I know it's not much, but please take it. You know, couldn't you have given me this glass bottle before and not have to throw it down to me and probably miss and break it? Oh, please don't tell me any please don't tell anyone I'm climbing Dragon Roost. It'll be our secret, okay? Well, good luck, both of us. Well, now we gotta take this water and then just water the bomb flowers up here. Look at these little guys. Time to make stuff explode. Now we can just swim. Now we can just swim across.
couple bombs. Let's go. Although I swear we can get that last one from here if you like time it like will you like you have like a specific angle, but like I don't have enough for it, so let's just ignore that. The first dungeon inside of a, is inside of a volcano. That's cool. It's usually like force or something. You know, other than Breath of the Wild, like this is the only one where the first dungeon is isn't a for, doesn't have like a force theme to it. I just noticed that. At least I have like a 3D games. Like Skyward Sword didn't really have like a force theme to the first dungeon, but like it was in a force. That's close enough, right? I think. Yeah, key. It's a good key. That's. Ah, you can do that. Instead of climbing up there. Yeah, that, that's a cool way to do it. Oh, that didn't last long. Wow, I can't believe we almost got. Can't believe Link's almost died. Wow, I can't believe Link almost died. This game's totally core. I am very bad at, at following a path. Okay, if we can actually do it this time, good. I'm not terrible at doing things. I don't know, maybe I am. What of it? Okay, I almost... I was... I thought I wouldn't make that jump. And I would've just embarrassed myself again. Okay, that would've been really embarrassing. Water pots, they can make like stone platforms from the lava. Would that even work in real life? I think lava is like denser than water or something. So, and then the water would just like. I think the water would just evaporate. I'm not a scientist, I'm not a scientist though, so. I don't know, maybe it wouldn't work in real life. Well, to be honest, half the stuff wouldn't work in real life. Like, this jump attack? Well, you can't just jump that high. Doesn't make sense, man. Yeah. 
Oh, hey, buddy. How's it going, dude? Uh, hey. Having fun? No? Okay. Ah, oh, did I just... I just do a sequence break? I'm pretty sure we were supposed to get like a... Get like a stick or something and then burn it. I think you just do that instead. Uh, these red choo choo jellies, I think that you can use it for. I think you can use, use it to make potions later. But, like, potions in this game are kind of useless. Because, yeah, I can make a red potion that restores, like, eight hearts, or you can just have fairies that restore all of your hearts and revive you if you die. Oh, I, I'm an idiot. I'm supposed to throw one of these. Yeah, fairies are pretty overpowered in this game. Like, they just give you, like, a full health restore. And they're, like, really easy to find. Like, it basically makes potions completely useless. Like, there is one potion that's, like, godly, but you get it for free, and, like, you can just get as many of it as you want. So these choo-choo jellies are kind of useless. At least the stuff they got, but they're annoying anyway. Oh. Remember when I said I could play the whole game without dying? Oh, well, that ship sailed. I also forgot that in hero mode, holds don't spawn. So, like, if you, like, break pots and stuff, you can't find holds. Also, I should probably sort of, like, save me periodically just because. Like, when I ended, when I ended, the, when I ended the last stream, I almost forgot to save, so. That would have been bad. This is a terrible camera. Now, with the, with the new lighting, the HD version, a lot of stuff looks like clay almost. Pretty cool. You know, Link looks kind of high right now. Like, yeah, I'm stone. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm kind of good at this game.
Oh, I, I did not want to do that. As he just disappeared into the void. I don't know why saying disappearing into the void reminded me of this, but like, uh, there's one thing on YouTube that I like to that I like to do is just go into like an incognito tab and then go to like some viral video that gets like that has like over like a million views or something. Well, that's the second death, but like, go to like some viral video that has like a million views or something. And then, like, keep going into the, like, suggested videos. And then keep clicking on the videos with the lowest views that you can find. And then just get really deep into YouTube. Like, it's led to me finding some really weird stuff. Like, not even weird, just like, really cringy and bad. Like, I don't even remember how I, get, how I got to this, but like... I somehow got to like, these two girls playing Minecraft. And like, they were just like, this video had to be redone because our, our identities were exposed. It was the weirdest thing. Because uh, I, I guess they didn't know how to edit videos. So, like, they're just like, nope, we're just gonna redo the episode instead of just bleeping it out. I can just imagine how that went down, like... Like... Oh yeah, good job, Janet. What? Oh, oh my god, you just... Oh my god! And then they just resold the episode. Uh, I think in that, like, same session I found some dude just playing some Minecraft mod with 21 pilots just playing in the background for some reason. Like, it had no correlation to what's going on, just... There were just 21 pilots playing in the background for literally no reason. And there wasn't, like, commentary or anything, like... I... It was weird, dude. I feel like it's like a really entertaining kind of weird. Like, w what was going through these people's heads when they're just like, yeah, let's upload that and, uh, yeah. Uh, this is gonna get a million views. It's kind of weird, like, just uploading something, and you're just like, oh yeah, this is gonna get, like, insane amounts of views. Also, you're not Tetra. Have you found any filthy thieving your acts around? I know they're annoying, but keep your wits about you. They're only rats. Like, when I upload a video, I just upload it with, like, the assumption that, like, no one's going to watch it. But if someone does watch it, just... Don't do anything too stupid. Like, it's just by the off chance that uh, someone you know accidentally somehow ends up watching the video. Just, like, don't say you did you cousin or something. <laughs> Which I did not, but still. Just 
don't say dumb things on the internet. Unless it's just so dumb that it's just like, who cares, like... Uh... Like, how can we be real if our eyes aren't real? Jane Smith seems like a weird dude. Yo, get out of the way. Just give me my key. Hey, hey, leave me alone. Dumb bird. Uh, I am low on health again. That's pretty unhelpful. Yo, bats. What's up, bats? Oh, the audio is so good. I remember this room being Doku in the original. Like, I remember being, like, so dark that you could barely see anything. That's probably a good change. Uh, but at one point, in the last stream, there was, like, for some reason my mic just started glitching out for, at one point. Like, someone in chat uh, told me about it, but, like, now I'm just paranoid my stuff is just gonna spontaneously combust at any moment. Which is what I felt like before, but, uh, just getting me into that mindset again. Spontaneous stream combustion. Oh, I'm sure that's happened before. Like, I'm sure someone is like streaming a game and all of a sudden their computer catches on fire. Yeah. Uh, this part so they can just get to the beginning. So they can just get to the beginning of the dungeon quickly. And to where we were before. It's fast travel, yo. Or at least kind of. Uh, I keep looking for holes in pots for some reason. Oh, give me your sword. Like, is this, a, is this even a sword? It's like a giant machete. This is one of those rooms where you have to like just kill everyone. So, like a bunch of people, but a bunch of enemies are hiding. So, yeah, gotta break all the pots. Like nature intended. Oh, I can't spin. I can't spin with this. I didn't think I'd be able to. Here's a very obvious chest. Oh, it wasn't obvious to me. I didn't know that was there. Yeah. Eh. A treasure chart, which I probably won't even end up using.
Ah oh, man, no one's really watching today. Eh, whatever. Having fun anyway. Yo, Scorpion dude. What's up? I love the poult when my enemies I love the poult when my enemies just die in front of me. Oh man, giant lock. Let's blow it up. And there's another shortcut. Another giant lock. Let's blow it up. Dragon. Oh, stairs are falling down. Run. Oh, I got one hold. Let's go. I die in like one hit. I got this. Oh, it's a big piggo from from earlier. Let's go. Let's go, piggo. Oh, cool, dude. Thanks. I'm like one hit away. Come on, dude. It's not cool. Well, three deaths. I wasn't really expecting to die this much, but I haven't played it in like... I haven't played this game in like three years, I think, so... Oh, last night, last night I had a weird dream. I don't remember what it was even about, but I just remember Minish Cap coming up at some point. I don't remember why. Just, oh, here's Minish Cap for reasons. Oh, there's a giant Hopefully I can actually do this this time. Oh, there we go. Yo, stop blocking, please. Hi, bro. I'm gonna parry you. Oh, okay. And he's dead. It's official, I don't suck. I don't know, maybe I do.
Okay, I swear, these skull neck necklaces have a purpose later, but I don't remember what it is. Yo, what's up? You came to rescue me. Oh, thank you. I have to tell you what I found out. This is terrible. Some creature is doing awful things to the Great Valu's tail. That's why he's so angry. Great Valu's tail hangs it out in the room right below here. There's gotta be something in there. I wonder if those mean monsters who captured me have anything to do with it. You've got to do something, now, before it's too late. I'll go and tell everyone what's happening. You, Prozac, use this to get out of here. It's what I used to get this for. This is advice we will use before we evolve the links. A grappling hook. A device. Alright. Climb up on that little ledge there so I can show you something. Yo, use the grappling hook that I just gave you. Oh, I, I wonder, I had no idea. How could I ever have known? That one looks really cool though. And in the Wii U version, you can move and you can move and aim at the same time. Wii U Master Race. You know, it's really sad the Wii U didn't actually sell very well because, like, the Wii U is actually like really good, but marketing people don't even know that it's a new system. Good job, Nintendo. At least they fired the Mulking team from the, of the Wii U. Like, I think the head of Mulking for Wii U now works at, like, Pizza Hut or something. It's a, it's pretty amazing. Like, I mean, not that, like... People being fired is amazing or anything, but like, dude did such a bad job that he can't even get a job of what he was doing before anymore. Oh no. Well, can I just get? back to where it was before. Oh, thank you. Oh, uh, that, well, that was actually kind of cool. The wobble just caught me. Well, this is always awkward. And I, I didn't do it. Like, it's so awkward, like... You lose momentum from the cutscene, and like, there's bats chasing after you, and it's, it's not, it's not good. It's not a good time. Well, died again. Oh, oh, I'm not dead yet. Still have some life left in me. Let's go. 
Can't you see how high energy I am right now? Just look at his face. That's the face of a man who's about to punch someone he's so excited. Oh god, just imagine having so much energy that you just punch someone in the face. Just because. Uh, you can actually s you can stop and then you can just change direction and length of the rope. I didn't think I was gonna make that. Actually, use a grappling hook in battle, and he, and what the grappling hook does is you can like stun enemies and like, no, oh no. Well, this isn't going well. But you can like use it to like stun enemies and like take item drops from them. Like those guys wearing necklaces, you can just grab them with a grappling hook. A lot of items in this game have multiple uses, which is really cool. Drop it. Good. Now open the chest. Thank you. Well, this dungeon's almost over. Yo. Yeah, go away, fire keys. I think that's what they're called. And also, it just occurred to me that. What? And also, it just occurred to me that instead of just stopping, you just turn like usual with the left analog stick, left and right. So, uh, four deaths. Just because. Like, I didn't even remember what the game over screen looks like. Until today. No, leave me alone. Oh, uh, speedrun strats. Yeah, let's go with that. for dying. Uh, this nice quest is useful later. Ah, uh, come on. Give me a fairy. Yes. Uh, if you catch a fairy in a bottle, you can just use it as like a potion later. And like, completely refills your energy. And if you die, you just, like, get full health. 
and you don't die. It's great. Alright, boss time, let's go. for will now. Oh no. Yeah, this this is going horribly. So we just have to ignore him and then just use a grapple and go down the dragon's tail. Oh no. What you ideally want to do is like get up on the raptors to make things ridiculously easy for yourself, but whatever. I'm out of here. Ah, oh, now we fight for wheelsies. And he's dead. Yeah, that was the boss. Good job on the dying. And more health. Good. God knows I need it. <laughs> How many times I've been dying for some reason. Well, you can ignore it if you want. But uh, I'm not. This isn't a three hole run. Dragon isn't mad anymore. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Prince Kamali, don't you have something you, say, something you want to say? Ah, uh, he would ever think of Medley. Protag, thank you. I'm sorry I mistrust you. I'm such an asshole. How about gonna be? I hope I can be like you someday. Well, Kamali, I just know it, right? Ah, uh, sure. So, Protag, here. I want you to take this. Give me the thing I'm a valley most for giving me the courage I need to stand with the bad things. Okay, cool. Now that I got your attention, the earth is flat. So, uh, yeah. Who knows? Maybe this planet is flat. I don't know. Great value is great for you to protag. Oh, hero. Thank you. Oh, hero. Use the wind god's win. Use the wind god's win? That's what he said, but I don't understand. I wonder what it means. The wind gods win. I wonder if he's talking about. I wonder if what he's talking about has anything to do with the wind shrine that's through the tunnel. Oh, I almost forgot. A true value also names you, Protag, a true hero. I agree with him. As far as you're concerned, you. As far as we're concerned, you are a real hero. Oh, I'm gonna go and visit Valu. I'll come and see you sometime with the best pair of wings ever. Thanks so much. See you again someday. Uh, also, that stuff back there that Valu said. Uh, if you're not playing on New Game Plus, it's just Hylian text. So, like, when you're playing on New Game Plus, they just translate it, which is cool. And that's not cool enough. Oh well. Alright, boat, let's go. There's no time to lose. We must, we must deport at once for the place where the next pool sleeps. We sail to the south. Get, hey, I can't, can I get in the, can I get in the boat, please? Oh, okay, cool. I guess we have to do this first. Make the wind itself. Now we can go to the next dungeon. But we're not going there yet. I want to go back to Windfall. Because now that we've finished the first dungeon, we can get a faster sail. And I played this like... And I played this like, uh... Four or five times on GameCube. I am, I am not putting up with this anymore. Oh, you can't get the fishes until they tell you about them. Okay. I don't know what you got you mints on that siege troll you got there. But it looks looks like it's pretty much got nothing but siege drawn on it. It's pathetic. In fact, it's almost an insult to call that thing a siege troll if you ask me. <laughs> What's the matter, small fry? I'm just trying to be nice here. I'm telling you you've got a problem, and you do. Don't give me that stupid fried look. It makes you look like you ought to be in diapers. Just listen, okay? I'm here to teach you what you know about this island, so open up your siege troll and make it snappy. Real peculiar cave towards the backside of this here Dragon Roost Island. Yeah, we were peculiar. I doubt you ever get there, get there to see a small fry, unless you manage to spread out wings, unless you manage to spread out wings and fly. That is, you won't be getting there otherwise. That's all I can teach you. Since I'm feeling so generous, send word to all my brethren living near the islands of the Great Sea. Good bunch of fish. You see a fish leaping out of the water when you sail near an island? Sail up to it and spread bait out on the water surface. Trust me, this is good advice, Fry. 
See, the painting process allows you to get a chore to the island, along with any info that might be of use to you. I highly recommend you make a habit of doing so. See, you're definitely going to need a reliable sea chore to help you search those things out at sea. I can't emphasize that enough, Fly. You need a well-drawn chart. If you don't get a chart for, for every island you come across, it will just be a bigger hassle for you later on. Oh, uh, don't say I never did anything for you, Fry. You there, you kingly red lion guy. That's it. I've repaid my debt. I'm done. You take care of the rest. O okay. Alright, uh, let's get back to Windfall now. Get the faster sail. The swift sail. Honestly, I'd rather just get the sail as soon as possible because this is incredibly useful. They're just like, oh, you don't have it from the, from the store, so they can learn to appreciate it. Nah, man, I played this game a lot on GameCube. I will appreciate the fact that it exists. Take my bait, please. Great bait, mate. I wait eight out of eight. You know what a choo choo is, small fry? No, I'm not talking about the sound he makes when he kisses someone. I'm talking about choo-choos. They're those slimy monster-like puddles of goo that turn into blobs of jelly, stand up and start making, start jumping at you like, like crazy when you come near them. Or well, in any case, there's lots of them on that island over there, so if you see any, I'd avoid them. They can get nasty. Now I think about it, every once in a while, I see the potion boo who lives on Windfall Island come here. Why don't you do, why is you that small fry? And that's all the info I got to offer. With that, I'm off. Bye, fish. This game has some, some amazing water, though. It's all watery, colory, colorful. The English language is complicated. Wait, does this count as night? Because, like, this is barely night. Also, this guy's super useful. That's, that's it. That's the rhythm I've been trying to recall. Oh, I can feel it. I can feel it, guy.
That's it, and it's perfect. I'm perfect. Now let the sun shine on. Hey, what's the matter? Nothing happened. Nothing at all. Why? And with this, we can just change the flow of time. Yeah. Sound great to give to some 12 year old. I actually want it to be night right now. Oh, the. A really cool detail about this game is that, like, the moon actually has, like, a moon cycle. So, like, it'll go through, like, all the phases of the moon that a moon would do. It's, like, really cool. I think Skyrim did that, too. It's always cool when there's just random cool details like that. Okay, actually, all right. I just remember where I need to go. So here's the witch dude's house that we broke the pots of earlier. Mm, I want to. I wonder if a boy like you will do. It's difficult to tell. Yes, difficult. You see, my one and only daughter, Mila, has, was taken away from me to a frightening place called the Forsaken Fortress. I've asked many to rescue her, but it seems like to be a difficult voy a difficult voyage to that crude's place. Oh, to see my sweet Mila again, my precious little daughter. I worry over her welfare. I can't recall the last time I slept more than a wink. I sincerely wonder about the wisdom of asking a boy like you to do this. But would you lend a hand to help rescue my precious daughter? Sure. You're a brave boy to take on this task, I assure you. If you do rescue her, I will pay you as much money as it takes. I will give you my entire fortune for her safety. He, he doesn't actually give you anything, though. I'm saving just because. Well, now, good eating. Yes, yes, I went out the first floor of this mansion in order to run a nightly auction. Actually, tonight's auction is about to be here, about to begin. Oh, dear me, is it ever. Now, it is indeed an auction, but I like to describe it in more simple term terms. It is a competition of the very highest order. It is a competition to see who can get the item that is being auctioned. Can you outbid everyone else? Do you have the courage and the fundage? Oh, the drama. Ah, but what's this? Yes, do me. Do I detect a hint of curiosity? I believe I do. Fortunately, we become bidders of all ages, both kids and adults. So tell me, would you like to participate in the option? In the option, in the auction. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Basically, you just mash the button, and then you just fill up a meter and like, Oh, it's your turn to auction. The bid, I mean. Dude, me, what a turnout. What is this? Oh boy, a piece of heart. I think you can just talk to him again. Yeah. It's like, hey, I have a nightly auction, but uh, I'm also just gonna do multiple auctions in one day because why not? Okay, here we go. 
Oh my dear, what a prize. At last, the suspense is over, but all drama aside, you should know it's extremely rare to even get a chance to own a fabulous item like this. It is precious, quite dear, very valuable. Yes, 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 listen well, for I do not lie. Let the auction begin. Yeah, just press the E button and fill, the, fill up the meter. Oh, this kid means business. Oh, look at the little money bags over here. This is 140 rupees. Oh, at this point, I'm seeing if I can just try and stall out the timer. I cannot. Uh. Well, well, I just lost. Although, actually, maybe I should probably just do this later when, like, uh, when, like, you can have a bigger wallet. Then you just, like, just spam all the money. I wonder what's even gonna happen. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm just doing that later instead. Okay, I'm I'm gonna try one more time. Maybe I can get some guys that are less aggressive. That'd be great. All right, dude, let's go. Da 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 da. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, cool. Swift sail came up again. <laughs> Although, if I don't get it this time, I'm just gonna save it for later. It's my strategy. Like, they're just like, oh man, whatever, man. He's, 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 he's a poor kid, whatever. And then, like, yo, I'm actually loaded. 
Except not really. Okay, I don't remember these people being this aggressive. Well, lost again. Oh, well, I'll just do that later instead. Because I think that, like, the... The max that I can get... I think the money cap right now is, like, 200. So I'm gonna need more later. Head back. Well, I'm gonna head back to Dragon Roost and then. And then that'll be a stream. Hey, hey, yo. Can you not get stuck on the boat? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, treasure. Now that we have a grappling hook, we can, like, bring stuff up. There's some good stuff in there, too. Oh. The cap isn't 300. It isn't 200. I thought it was 200. I don't know. It'll still be easier later, though. And to be honest, like, it's not a huge deal to have this speed right now. Because in the beginning, you don't sail that much. But eventually, it's going to be so useful, you would be a fool not to get it. Ooh, that would be. Old treasure. There's another one over there. Let's go get it. Okay. Okay. 
apparently I'm an idiot and don't like I I give up. I don't know what the cap is on the whoopies at this point. Oh, uh, like at this point, we very realistically could get the swift sail, but eh, whatever. I don't really care anymore. I'm just moving on with my life. It's not a huge deal, but it, again, it'd be nice. No. Ooh, he went away. That's sad. Well, guys, that's gonna be the that's gonna be it for this stream. And I'll try to do this like semi frequently, but like I don't know. Still, mostly when I feel like it, but still. Oh, well, anyway.